back, Agent Nation. It's your host, Agent Beamstar, man. Let's get right into the news. Hey, where have I been? Great question. I've been sick. I'm trying to force all the energy I can muster today to deliver you guys some of the most jaw-dropping NBA 2K news imaginable. If y'all new to the channel, be sure to subscribe or I'll just leave again forever and nobody wants that. But let's not waste any time. Let's get right. I did this already. Into the news for our first story of the day. Ronnie 2K made a good joke. And it's going to get more serious as the 2K drama goes on. So you're going to want this light story. All right, listen to me. Ronnie 2K, during the debates, in the election debates going on, dropped this meme, which I'm pretty sure he stole from Reddit. But who cares? Let's give him credit anyways. He said this. Every time the moderator speaks in a single picture, and look. It's David Aldridge. The reason this is breaking news is because Ronnie has never in his life, even when he's stolen funny memes, been funny just because it came out of his Twitter account. But today, ladies and gentlemen, I wanna let you guys know that I did indeed chuckle when I seen it. I reached out to Agent Zero and he gave this no exaggeration. Look here, hold up, valid meme, 10 out of 10. So there we go, guys. Ronnie did something funny for once. For our next story of the day. Yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Months ago, I got like a random email from a guy. He reached out to me and told me he was grinding the game's account. And then he got fired and they replaced him with another grinder. And I was like, oh my God, the game is boosting on NBA 2K. That's crazy news. But I didn't bother covering it because there was no real drama involved. People boost all the time. The only difference is... The game is an established rapper. In my opinion, actually top five most underrated. He is incredible when it comes to rap. Besides the point, uh, things began to get really heated because the guy who was leading the rep race on NBA 2K21 current gen pool, that guy was recently passed up by the game. There's been plenty of people boosting in and along the rep race this year so far, and most of those guys have been getting banned. But there was an interesting turn of events because people began to point the finger at the game once he got the number one spot, saying he wasn't doing it legitimately. I should really go back and find the email of the guy that was trying to do that whole exposed thing. But I mean, there's no doubt about it. He was boosting. That's not like a, that's, it's not like that's rare neither. People boost all the time in 2K. But when it comes to the rep race, you wanna keep it legitimate. There's a lot of clout and prestige associated with being the first person to reach a legend rank. The game was taunting people though on Twitter. He decided to post this. He said, garage ban, making the ban, ban Banana, Band-Aid, Band-K of America, with some crying laughing emojis, clown emojis, uh, looking closely emojis, sick emojis, covering mouth emoji, jaw drop emoji. Grinding responded to the game saying, why are you taking pride in cheating on a video game and getting away with it? LMAO, mad childish. Ermi replied with a ratioed by you boosting in an empty Europe park with alt. And there's plenty of uh, evidence of him, just videos across the board of him just playing brown shirts that have a record of like zero and 500, just to get his rep up. Joe Knows put out a tweet saying, 2K community is on the game's head right now. And things kind of died down for the moment because people were reaching out to Ronnie 2K and really anybody associated with 2K to get the game banned. Uh, but Pretty Lost Pink put out this tweet saying, Twitter, do your thing to get uh, a bunch of guys with some racial slurs on the Pro-Am ban. And Ronnie 2K responded to them, responded to her saying, we'll ban these guys if they haven't already, which immediately prompted a whole slew of people to ask, but Ronnie, how come you're not banning the game? I remember when I got my face scanned like two years ago on 2K, uh, right when I pulled up, I saw a Bentley and I saw a giant man getting in that Bentley. I later found out that was the game. I know him and Ronnie 2K have a decent relationship, and so a lot of people were saying, Ronnie, are you trying to preserve your celebrity relationships? Is that the reason you haven't banned him yet? J.A. Bridgeforth put out a tweet saying, while you're at it, can you ban the game and unban Pool DF? Oh, so I have to update you guys. For some reason, Pool got banned. And we'll get back to that in a moment. Ronnie2k replied 30 minutes later saying, both the game and Pool are banned for boosting. Chico responded to Ronnie saying, hi Ronnie, I vouched for Pool. 
He is not boosted at all. He was simply set up by the game and his group to frame Pool to make it look like he was boosting. Pool has sacrificed sleep and puts in more hours into this game than anyone else. He does not deserve this. Hashtag free pool. That was a common sentiment between people across the NBA 2K community. Because a lot of a lot of his games that he played, he's been streaming. Most people that boost wouldn't do that. In my opinion, power and grinding have a lot to lose by being associated with somebody who's boosting. So they would not back somebody they thought was boosting. So when pool when power and grinding was behind him, I was like, listen, man. All right. But on top of all of that, bro, yo, last year, I got tweets telling me I was boosting because I played a game against a guy who was like zero for 800 or something like that. And I had like four or five tweets from people saying I boosted. Guys, I capped out at an all-star one last year. I played a total of like 200 games. So even I got allegations. So just to let you guys know, the allegations, people are always pointing fingers. And, and, and you know, you had to see if the glove fits first. And in this situation, most of the community was on pool sides and the glove didn't fit. He caught a ban for no reason. He was set up. Ronnie2k replied to that post though. He said, both can appeal to customer service. Our tracker busted each of them and there is video. They're both going to have an uphill climb. Make the chase legit so everyone can enjoy. Otherwise, it's a matter of time. Power quote tweeted Ronnie's tweet saying, Pool appears online 100% of the time. Anyone can join his park at any time and streams pretty much every day. If he was boosting, people would know. Ronnie responded saying, Power, all due respect, you don't have access to the tools 2K does. They both know what they did, and like I said, they can appeal to customer service. I'm telling you what I know, which is a dev has a video and tracking on both of them and others who got banned. We don't ban without more than enough evidence. I think part of 2K's strategy for trying to get people to not cheat is to give the impression that they have like a robust bang, like a system that's gonna catch people if, you, if you're caught cheating, boosting, whatever. I don't believe that system exists. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Because for a system like that to exist, you would also need a really good reporting system and that doesn't exist. The fact that people had to reach out to devs on Twitter and that's the best way to get somebody banned is kind of sad. There should be systems within games the way Ubisoft has them, CSGO has them. Because those are both games plagued with cheaters and they have to go really, really hard and spend a lot of resources to remove those cheaters. 2K hasn't done that yet. So maybe just giving the impression that that system exists is part of Arnie's strategy, but I don't believe that there's a video the way he's saying there's a video, in my opinion. I'd call Pool at 1 a.m., he would be playing. I'd talk to him at 3 p.m., he'd be playing. I helped him set up a stream and he was still playing. I was helping him with the video and he was playing. I go to sleep, wake up, and he was still playing. I saw his grind with my own eyes. There's no doubt all top guys in the race to legend were doing that sleepless grind. Some were also doing it more than which was plainly caught by our tracker. The dev team is cracking down, so I would suggest everyone try and stay above the board from here on out. Now, in my opinion, I believe it should be easy to catch somebody boosting, right? You have to use your IP address to connect to 2K servers, unless you're playing on some sort of VPN, which I don't think nobody is. So if you're logging into a server across the country and grinding all night, 2K should be able to see that and go, that's not the same person and if that person if they're switching back and forth every day it's clear that he's not grinding by himself you should be able to ban him in my opinion logically that'd be the easiest way to catch a booster i don't know which video ronnie's saying here and you know for legal reasons most of the time companies try and keep it really vague when it comes to bans same goes with youtube twitch anytime somebody gets banned they get real vague because anytime you itemize something you increase the likelihood that somebody can argue a point if i'm buying a house from you and i tell you yo um i'm gonna need twelve thousand dollars in renovations you might be like okay i can see twelve thousand but if I had to itemize and tell you because the hardwood is chipped here, because the lighting here, the electrician did a bad job, you're gonna be like, oh, you don't need money for that. You get second you start to itemize, you begin to lose your point. So Ronnie's keeping it real vague here for a reason. I peeped that, I peeped that. Swante decided to give his two cents. He said this on Twitter. Why is this community so stupid? Y'all do realize you can't keep up with a booster, right? Almost all top reps boost. Why y'all picking and choosing when they cheating? Uh, the game began to troll though once he found out that he was banned on NBA 2K21. He said, I asked to be banned and you guys made it happen for me. Thank you, Ronnie. Sincerely, hashtag the top rep on both systems. Hashtag ban the game. With a photo here of him being banned. Ronnie2k, if I ever see you in my 2K beach, I'm drowning you. Hashtag man. <laughs> Ronnie2k responded to the game's drowning tweet saying, Lol, let today be a day of peace for you. I guess not. Anyway, I would focus on your grind. Pool and others are about to beat you to that legend. 
So there's a couple things there. One, Ronnie's originally referencing a tweet the game made earlier that day when he said, let today be a day of peace for you. Second, you might be wondering, what grind are you talking about? I thought he was just banned. Both pool and the game were banned for two days, which was interesting, and we'll get to it in a moment later because Pool was under the impression that he was banned for two weeks. But And if it's common knowledge that the game has been boosting this entire time and he caught a two-day ban, but Ronnie's saying he has a video of Pool boosting and he caught a two-day ban, a, right now it's looking like a false equivalence, but let's continue the story. Pool responded saying, I got told two weeks. Grinding responded to Pool saying, Pool, I love you, but I'ma respectfully tell you to STFU and take the W. LMAO, congrats bro, now go hit legend. Ronnie responded, what he said, I went to battle for you. Then the game decided to double down on the fact that he's not boosting. He quote tweeted saying, just canceled everything on my plate for the next two weeks. We'll see about that Ronald McDonald 2K, hashtag free pool. I looked into this for you, Ronnie says. Both bands were for 48 hours. His started earlier, as you know. Yours will lift in a few hours, FYI. Second time offense is a lot longer and the team will be watching previous offenders closely. But the game was having too much fun with the whole situation because of course, how could you not? He put out this tweet saying, Ronnie2K's new NBA 2K face scan, and it's a Ronald McDonald McShook gif. Just wildly unfunny in so many different ways, but we'll roll with it just because he's enjoying himself with the memes. That's actually where the situation ends for right now. They're gonna continue on their rep grind. I'm pretty certain that Pool is doing it legitimately. Never talked to the guy, I don't know him, but he's getting co-signs from everybody across the 2K community and people that across the board are pretty trusted. You wouldn't consider it to be a booster. Plus, um, it wouldn't make sense for the whole DF clan to be behind somebody that they know is boosting. So if they have plenty of evidence he's been doing it legitimately, then in my opinion, I'll go with them on that. Uh, as for the game, I've been getting emails of people telling me he's been boosting. I've, I've been getting emails from people that have grinded his account telling me he boosted. And then it's only relevant news now because he became the number one rep, right? When he was the number eight rep, it really didn't matter because people only really care who hits it first, besides the point. For our next story of the day, it's some wildly random but interesting news that you probably don't care about, but you're gonna find interesting. Toasted decided to bless uh, Twitter with this information. He put out a tweet saying, 2K dev Mike Stauffer, which is the guy that deals with uh, the ratings for NBA 2K, won FanDuel's 2.75 million Sunday contest, which awards $1 million for first place. And that's him right there. That is a 2K dev that overnight just became a millionaire. I don't know why that story just made me happy for no reason. So congratulations to him. That's a guy who deals in analytics and ratings for a living. So, uh, you know, there was controversies throughout the year, especially from the MyJ and Miley community with the frequencies and the tendencies and the ratings just being offered 2K. But Mike Stafford is here to let everybody know he knows what he's talking about. Bagged a million dollars. That's incredible. Shout out to you. Congratulations on being a millionaire. For our next story of the day, Aiden, who's been blowing up recently on Twitch as a streamer, has been getting in some, it's not, he hasn't really been getting in no controversy, but there's some people that have been taking shots at him, and he went to defend himself the other day. So let me walk you through what happened. People are unimpressed with Aiden as an individual. They say that he does a lot of quote unquote sus to get views on the internet. There was a guy on Twitter who decided to drop a video furious with Aiden's success, I guess, and this is what he said. You went on Twitter, Brody, and you literally said Donald Trump and Joe Biden need to f each other. Instead of worrying about where the president's and shit is going and worrying about putting your dick in another man's in your fucking mouth, you weird. How about you hit up Ronnie 2K Hollywood ass and tell him to fix this motherfucking game? You That's your fucking problem, bro. Start worrying about the that actually matters. Because you're talking about and tell LeBron. Instead of talking to no weird like you, you need to be talking to a real like me. Um, hey, Willie, good luck censoring all that, man. So that was a particularly interesting video. Uh, I guess the guy was arguing, instead of being sus uh, in his words, you need to work on trying to get the game better. Well, I'll let you know. I've been trying to do that for years, and I'm losing hope, right? There's nothing that Ronnie2K is gonna do to, we, that doesn't solve anything, bro. Just sending the message doesn't solve nothing, just so everybody knows. The 2K really knows what the problems about their game is. It's not like they don't know. And there's times where I've said something to a 2K dev and they were surprised, and I was like, you don't know? That game chat audio was garbage? Like, uh, now you know. But for the most part, they know everything wrong with the game, they just don't fix them. Uh, also, the tail end of that where it was like, man, that was, 
So next time Aiden talks to LeBron, you want him to be like, yo, I know a guy you should talk to. <laughs> All of it was really funny to me, and I guess Aiden was kind of taking it as a joke because this was his response. My response to the viral video of someone bashing us for dark humor streamers who make sus jokes. Worry about yourself, stay in your own lane, sir. Have a nice day. You know, a grown man, 30 year old, middle aged man, or whatever, talking about how these people, these creators in the 2K community are saying sus things for views and stuff. Here's how I look at it, bro. Would you want me to, and he said something about like, my kid watches your streams. Let me ask you, would you want your kid to watch me with guns and and talk about gangs and all this horrible things that's that's worse influence than acting sus, making sus jokes. Bro, it's funny, it's comedy. Don't take it too seriously, buddy. I'm sorry, I don't know what made you so angry, but don't take it too seriously, bro. You know, it's humor, it's humor. Sus jokes have been going on forever. And honestly, like, you're taking it too up the butt. I'm sorry, you are. Literally, you're taking it in the ass. Uh, so there's more to that. There was a couple more responses that basically sums up what was going on. And for our final story of the day, and my throat is in so much pain, guys, so I really want to get off of this, but I got to deliver the news. I missed y'all. been a couple months. Agent B starting the building. It's actually some really late news, just in case you missed it. Uh, NBA 2K's official Twitter account put out this tweet saying, NBA 2K21 Next Gen is coming! PS5 and Xbox Series digital pre-orders, and they link to it right there. Uh, and this is actually the most interesting part, is that they um, confirmed that the game is going to release two days before on Xbox than it is on PlayStation, which really doesn't matter to nobody except content creators, because that means content creators are also gonna have to get Xbox if they didn't plan on it and get the game on Xbox, because that two day period is gonna be incredibly important. Uh, anytime 2K though does make a decision to begin selling their next game, they're basically giving up on their previous one. So I'm hoping that we can still see some reasonable support for NBA 2K21 current gen, especially for the people who aren't gonna have access to or can't afford to buy the next gen version of the game. Me personally, I'm gonna be getting so many new next gen consoles, it makes no sense, so it won't matter to me. But I know for a lot of people it will. Uh, that's it for the news, ladies and gentlemen. I have to get off of this because I'm in so much pain. Hopefully I can recover from this sore throat and headache in the next couple days. So I'll see you guys then, man. If you guys are new, you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. If you missed the last 2K drama alert, the end screen, link in the description. Like that, man. Catch y'all. Peace.